Well, Caden Solo don't exactly look impressed with these two. Well, that's the thing. If you got to check out the FIP YouTube, you saw a very passionate nuclear casserole talking about the winning streak they've had all over the United States, and then Jason Cade not even knowing who they were. Well, I think it was more Jason Cade not even caring who they were. It's one thing to have an impressive tag team such as Cade and Solo, and I, and I am impressed by them. I think they're great together. They have great in-ring chemistry. But, you know, when you, when you are a good tag team and, and you do get a little bit of fame as they have, then you start to get cocky, and that's when you slip up. It's a very, very dangerous thing. Me, you know, being a humble person, I wouldn't know anything about arrogance, but I have heard. Oh, yeah, and Aaron Solo definitely familiar with Chase Brown. Chase all over the freaking Carolinas. Just an institution up there. Peter Costa, I don't know where he found him. It's like, it's like he almost looks like the perfect wrestler, doesn't he? It's like they were meant to be. Cade controlling the arm, and you know, we talked about different personalities, Cade and Solo. Uh, and sometimes it takes two different personalities to make a, a really good team. You Those differences allow you to complement each other uh, extremely well. But I don't know, I, Jason Cade's got, he's got a little bit of Carmelo Anthony in him. And that great talent, but... Is that a guy from Dancing on the, with the Star No, Club? it's not. And not that, if he was, I wouldn't know it. Sure. Yeah, I'm a fan of Sony Puka Dance too, but that's actually kind of what this is. It's like street versus stage. That was a joke for myself and myself alone, but flying solo chants started here in the Orpheum. They are popular. They got the hoods. He's got the home court advantage, he says. Which is more than we can which is more than we can say for his beloved New York Knicks. Is that a sports ball? Yes. Team? They stunk out Madison Square Garden on many an occasion this year. Team, wait a minute, wait a minute. They let they let something other than wrestling in Madison Square Garden. You know what they do? The coming to. Uh, in my oh, day it was ENC and MSG. In your day. Back in my day, kid. Grizzled vet that you are. Pal, I was kind of upset the show didn't start with you in the ring. <laughs> uh, you know, we, or, we can't all have, have taste, you know. I, I was upset it didn't. I was upset it didn't start with the Mr. Saint Laurent promo. Yes. Well, and while we're sitting here joshing around, man, look at Peter Casa just broke the overhead suplex. It's beautiful, and he was pointing right at you for not paying any attention to it. Did you see that? Actually, yeah, I did. <laughs> we can't all be professionals. <laughs> Luxurious locks. That's that's my addition into this conversation. I just I think his hair is kind of pretty. Is, is Chase your type, though? Yeah, I should tell you what. Oh, I don't know about that. He's got long hair. Doesn't live here. He's got a beard, no tattoos, yeah. and not enough muscles. Yeah, I think he's out. He's not, really, he's not really taught me end enough for me. Look at Aaron Solo using his quickness. Showing everything he learned from Lance Storm right there. He made me do it. A little bit of Lance Storm, a little bit of Davey Richards, but Chase Brown getting in control. I love this aggressive nature of him as well. You know, Aaron Solo has become such a big fan favorite within uh, within Florida. Obviously, he traveled around as well, but he's such a fan favorite. But then again, we are in Ebor. I mean, these fans, they wouldn't know talent if it hit him in the face. And I wish it would. Chase Brown now in control here. Aaron Solo, you can see these two teams, I really feel any, like they're kind of feeling each other out here, taking their time, not not knowing what to expect from the other. Right, when you haven't had the opportunity to wrestle against an opponent before, and a lot of times early on in the match, you're, you're not going to try and show all your cards at once, right? You're going to see what your opponent brings to the table, what they do well, maybe see what you can take advantage of, find some some weaknesses in their game, maybe some openings you can exploit a little bit later on. I think both those teams are leery of being the first team to really make a mistake. No, I agree. Talk about that. Did you see that beautiful bridge by Chase Brown? Again, those guys living up to their singlets. Living up to their singlets. Well said, Trevor. Lands on his feet. Nice agility there. Must be all that cauliflower he eats. Oh, oh! Almost a nasty spill right there. Both men all the way down to the floor. That's what you were talking about here. That that first mistake. Whoa! Look at Jason Cade knocking Peter Kasa off. Taking respect again. A little cockiness from from Cade. A season and opportunity here, and he looks to take flight. Denied. You've denied a few guys in your time. Oh, tonight. Me. Guys, pay attention to Peter Kasa. He's on the top row. What is he doing? Wow! Corkscrew Plancha wiping out everybody! What a 
shocked. A man of that size and, and, and build to fly like that with such ease, beautiful. We are five minutes into the official heat stroke show and we got that. That was awesome. How about that? Nuclear casserole, man. Heat stroke. It sounds like what happens when you come into a locker room, right? It was heat. Heat, brother, brother. Oh, went for the pin and no go. Now, I thought you were going to talk about when Lenny's walking from after he parks in the building. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hilarious, a Trevor. Trail. Oh, the straps are down. You know he means business. Oh, uh, if we were in Memphis, it'd be all over. See, when girls do that, it's a totally different meaning. <laughs> nice reversal on the tombstone. Blind tag. Solo trying to hold it too long. Divorce court into the Kimura. Broken up with that slingshot boot to the chest. Wow. I heard Jason Cade. Cade just said it was his house. I thought you lived here, Lenny. I thought the Orpheum was your house. I saw that cot in the back. I don't live here. I'm a fan of the Orpheum. Just say it. I don't. Just, just getting out. Jason Cade. I mean, uh, bottom line is it's clear. Like You talked about that home court advantage. He definitely considers this the, the house, the flying solo. But I mean, honestly, the last year and a half, these guys, their they're growth here in FIP. So really, for, from his point of view, nuclear casseroles really invading their turf. And you see that cocky side coming out right there. As he... Oh, what a drop kick! Like a shotgun went off. Yeah, that was amazing. The agility of Kate is nothing to, to laugh about. But while he had him in the headlock, taking his time to look up here and say hello and smile, and that's just stuff you're not going to see. So what you did is you distracted him. Like that's the stuff you're not... Well, I have that effect on people. Him. Oh, sure. You mean, you mean he's been watching his ricochet tapes? Yeah. Who hasn't? Yeah, no kidding. But I actually mean that parallel when it comes to that, that mix-up. We'll get a little cocky while, while doing some magic in the ring. Aaron Solo here is a technician, cutting off the ring. He really is. He's one of those wrestlers that really does make it look easy. Every move is crisp, concise, and just flows amazingly well. He really is quite the artiste in the ring. Great teamwork here by Flying Solo. Another tag by Flying Solo. Cade looking to take a big chance right across the back. Nice double team and shorty by Jason Cade, but it works. Peter Casa have, having to be stopped by Frankie Gaston. But guess what? Pulling around. Think about it. He might have got the pin had he been not been showboating. All that showboating. All that multiple suckets. Multiple seconds. Also, something we have experience in. Honey. I don't like to brag. Hey, you know what? At least you got to the dance, buddy. The dance. He said, make the tag. There it is. Yes. It comes the big man. And he is just laying the lumber. This guy looks like he's literally a cyborg. Oh, what a slam. Snap, fall away, slam. And then floats right over. He is wiping out both Kate and Solo all by his lonesome here. Making quite a name for himself. I am very impressed. Do you Again, the way that he moves uh, with, with such agility is surprising given how muscular he is. And yes, I did notice. And, and I'm not I'm not implying that it's, it's one to one, lady, but do you feel like you're in Indianapolis right now? Seeing the first match of a guy that people are going to be talking about, the athleticism and things you wouldn't expect a guy that size to be able to do? Apollo Cruz? Yes. The former UHA Nation. Yeah, that was, wow. a, that was a special night in Indianapolis. Oh, snap suplex. Almost dropped him right on his head. Well, and, and, and honest to goodness, I was there at that show. And first look, you're like, well, who's this big guy, right? It's the same thing. Look, look at Peter Costa. This guy comes out. You're like, oh, what kind of what kind of style are we going to get from a wrestler looking like that? And boom, here's this guy's flying all over the place. I did judge him by his hard, hard muscular cover, I must admit. Monkey flip, blind tag. Solo never saw it. Here comes Casa again. Oh my goodness. Running, shooting star press. Broken up. Yeah, he is money. Peter Casa just coming out of nowhere here. The fans getting behind Solo here. I mean, if you were asking, if you were curious, who was Nuclear Casserole when, this, when, this, when you heard this team announce for this show, I think you're finding out. You remember the name by the sheer hilarity of it anyway, but they are so impressive tonight. Wow. Another double nice team double move. team right there. 
shoots the half. Cover, but again, Cade in the save solo. Smartly. Because honestly, look at Aaron Solo. If you're Caden Solo, you've got to be surprised and probably a little bit worried at this point. I don't think anybody expected this out of Nuclear Castle. Well, no, and, and, and let's be honest, right? Go back to YouTube like I talked about. That that video shared by both Caden and Solo. Even Solo was like, well, I know Chase Brown, but I don't know who Peter Costa is. Well, you're, you're finding out, buddy. You know who he is now. Yikes. Oh, what a right hand. That one rocks Solo. To Solo, Look, that was a wrong hand. You know what I mean? Able to block that scoop attempt. Yeah, I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> a right to the gut again. I know I already said it, but I'm telling you, this guy, he has to be a cyborg. There wasn't a new uh, Terminator movie out. Maybe things are changing. We know who it's based on. Lenny? Because he's robotic and he just won't go away? Is that why? Wow! Double stomp buried right to the midsection. You can see. Not unlike SoCal Val just buried me. Aaron Solo disoriented, looking over to the wrong corner. Starting to get it, starting to try to get the cobwebs cleared. Peter Casa's in trouble too. I think this is gonna be that pivotal tag, depending who makes this tag, Lenny. Nuclear casserole first and then flying solo. Wholesale changes both teams. And Kate now cleaning up. Kate is completely recharged. And here he comes. Blocks that right hand, and Zagiri. And Cade right to the top. Beautiful. Missile drop kick, ducks the clothesline. Catches him in the midsection, sends him out to the floor. This guy's got springs in his boots or something. His drop kicks are amazing. And you heard the fly, Cade fly chance. I think people are going to get what they want, Lenny. Wow, right into the outside and almost to the bar. Let's wait till after the show, fellas. Stay away from that bar. What? And he's not done yet! I don't know if we caught that, but as you saw, Cade flying to the other side, taking out Chase Brown. Worthy of here. And is this going to be enough to pick up the win in our opener here? Hooks the leg. No, says Francois Gastineau. The resilience of this team is amazing. Both teams... Still in it, still energetic. It's getting these stupid Ebor people involved, but hey, I can't agree with everything he does. There's a great crowd here at the Orpheum. Yeah, they're lovely. Yeah. Double knees. Running knee strike. Exploder. Up and over the top, right to the top he goes. He's a little caught up there. Frog splash connects. Broken up again at two. His casa is su casa. Yes. This is not where Solo wants to be. No, nor the whole row of photographers that thought their lives were flashing before their eyes. Oh, there's the strength. Muscles him up. That was a long way down for Kate. Good a night, Kate. Wow. Super 3D right there. Guy from. No! Jeez! Oh, corkscrew? Somebody give me a contract! Is that a thing? I didn't even know that was a thing. There might be an opening in the Premier Athlete brand after this. I am you know, very impressed with this team. Yeah, this is definitely that home, home field advantage thing. The Cade chance trying to bring Cade back. Imagine if we were in the Carolinas right now. Knockout kick! And one in retaliation. Knee strike sends Solo down. Super kick. All four men are down. For once, I'm going to shock everyone and say I actually agree with these Ebor mongoloids. This is awesome. See Premier Athlete brand potential in there? I, I might. I might. You think I'm going to tell you my inner workings of the Premier Athlete brand? You think I'm just going to reveal all my secrets to you, Trevor? I wish. That was legit creepy. The look I gave her was phenomenal. Thank God there's not a camera on us right now. Why are we doing py Pyroscope or whatever it's called? We might. Wow, Caden Solo. Pyroscope. Man, you're game. up on things. <laughs> Kate says it's that time as he calls out to Aaron Solo. Both of them climbing up the turnbuckles. Air traffic control better get their job here. Time to cook the casserole, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they don't nuke it. Yeah. Wow. You're so impressed, Lenny. Whoa, speaking of impressive. 
Oof. Senton off the top. Down goes Cade. All right, let's see. Can can Peter Costa do a senton? He's been known for a 630. And there it is. What was that? I just told you. Oh 630. Gosh. And it's over. I think what I a debut. What? I am standing up with applause. I am shocked, impressed, and speechless. My goodness. I think I just became a wrestling fan all over again.